This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to continue to discuss paragraph formatting. If you'd like to follow along, go under the file menu to open, and in the sample files folder, scroll down to 0703, make a line to baseline grid, work, and just click open. Baseline grid is a way of making lines of type, a line going across your spread. It's used quite often in magazines and newspapers because it gives you a really nice clean look and all of the columns align going across the bottom of the page. To start talking about baseline grid, first we have to open the paragraph panel. And now let's turn on the baseline grid. You can do it either under the view menu, grids and guides, show baseline grid, or you can do it in the application bar in the view options baseline grid. Well, you can see baseline grid is actually checked here, yet I don't see any grid. Why is that? Well, it's because of preferences. Why don't we go into preferences? Command K, Control K on a PC, and go to grids. And while we're here, why don't we just go through the baseline grid preferences? The color of the grid is light blue. It starts at 0.5 inches down relative to the top of the page. And its increment for the grid is once every 12 points. And here's the reason we can't see it. The view threshold in the default preferences is 75%. My view right now, my zoom level, is at 63%. We're zoomed out too far from the page to see the grid. So why don't we just click OK and now go to our zoom tool and zoom in on the bottom part of the left hand page of the spread. And now you can see the grid. And you can also see that none of the lines are actually aligning to the grid. In order to have those lines align, we have to first turn on the grid. So why don't we go to our type tool, get an insert point anywhere in the story, and then just hit Command A or Control A to select all of the type. Align to baseline grid by default is turned off. Do not align to baseline grid. The other button where you see equal columns is align to baseline grid. And if I click that, whoa, what happened? Well, it's aligning to the baseline grid, but there's another problem. I mean, I used Align to Baseline Grid for a number of years when I was working on a magazine. And at first, it drove me crazy. I could not make it work the way I wanted to until I learned this simple trick. I'm going to go back into my character panel. And I happen to know that a lot of these paragraphs are set with leading that is greater than 12 points. If your leading does not fit within the grid, it's going to go to the next grid line. So let me just start by changing this to 12 points. Ah, now it aligns to all of those grid lines. Type looks a little bit big. Why don't we just make it a couple of points smaller? And while we're at it, change from metrics to optical. And why don't I just scroll across the page so you can see that nice clean look where all the columns are aligning perfectly to that bottom grid line. But does this mean that I can only use 12 points? Absolutely not. I can really use any letting I want and I could set up either custom preferences, my own preferences for align to baseline grid, if I'm going to be using those all the time, or I can even select my story and set up a custom baseline grid for just this story or for a selected text frame. The way I would do that is go under my object menu to text frame options. And we'll be talking a lot more about the text frame options dialog window in upcoming lessons. But for this, we're just going to go into Baseline Options. And you can see the bottom part of the Baseline Options part of the window is Use Custom Baseline Grid. 
Let me do that. And so we can really see the difference. Why don't we change the color to how about brick red? And you can see now there's brick red grid lines. And I can change the increment. Watch what happens if I go up to 13 by clicking the up arrow. Now everything is aligning once every 13 points because it's aligning to that grid. Let me go back down to 12 and just hit cancel. And the great thing about Align to Baseline Grid is because it is paragraph formatting, it's in the paragraph panel, I can save it as part of a paragraph style. So I can use it throughout my publication, whether it's a magazine or a newspaper, and it's very easy to apply that way. And you avoid all of the issues of not aligning to the grid because it's part of the paragraph style. We're going to continue discussing paragraph formatting in the next lesson.